Should you max kill Xiangyu in 2022? Is he a priority commander? And what are his best talents and pairing? This is all the questions that I'm gonna answer you in this video, plus much more. So let's get right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy and Ronnie and today I want to talk about Xiang Yu. Answer some of the questions that you're probably thinking about. You're probably reaching season of conquest right now and you're wondering this commander that everybody is using right now. Should you invest sculpture? Should you try to do a minimum investment on him? To be very honest, since Xiang Yu has been released, he has been a very useful commander throughout the game. But him being a priority, there are much better commanders to be a priority. Xiang Yu being very useful and a very good commander, yes. But the priority commanders, when it comes to CAV commanders in the game right now, you have Nevsky, Alexander Nevsky, and you have William I. These two commanders are the top two priority commanders before X, Y. And if you've done things correctly, when you were in your KVK2, it means you should have a Saladin as well, at least a 5551 five, Saladin. When it comes to X, Y, he is one of those versatility commanders into the game, even though you're noticing he is Cav, Conquering and Skill. But by versatility, I mean in places where he is very useful. So for example, you want to play Olympia or whichever other events, X, Y is very useful there. You want to play Canyon, whatever Canyon, Lost Canyon, Bulibasha Canyon, whichever Canyon you're thinking about, he is very useful there. He's a top commander to have in the Canyon as well. You want to play Ark or Cyrus League, he is a top commander to have in those places as well. In KVK, he's being used as rally. It's, he's a rally leader. Um, X, Y, and Nevsky, or Attila and Nevsky, depending on the situation. The results are much better with an X, Y, and Nevsky, but the Attila and Nevsky is because it's kind of anti swarming type of rally. It's being used on the field as well, and probably numerous other places where he is very useful. So when it comes in terms of utility, he is a very useful commander. But as a field fighting commander, he is a target. So I'm going to give you a fair example, and this is probably the best example that you can get that this commander, it is a target on the field. So imagine that since I unlocked him, I used him as rally in couple of KVKs and I was the main rally leader because as you notice my CAV equipment is pretty good and it was always really good. So I was always rallying with CAVs. The example I want to give you is checking on the information. So you're noticing the date recruited. So it's what a year and about three months considering the time when this video is being made and he has 12.8 million kills. So in how many KVKs I used him and he's barely at 12.8 million kills. And now if I go and show you a commander that I only used him for one KVK, just one KVK. And he has 8 million kills. So XY has what about 4.7 or almost 5 million kills over Nevsky in the course of 3-4 KVK or probably even more. While Alexander Nevsky has done one KVK and he's almost reached that. So this, this kind of tells you that he is a very good commander because you're probably noticing him even when I stream. You're noticing that everybody is using him. He is very good on the battlefield. But a lot of people, they don't care so much about the hospital bills. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of people use him. So if, if he's going to be a target, well, it is what it is. It's, you, call, you name it bad luck. But if he's not being a target, he's ravaging. He's destroying. He's demolishing on the field. So some people are very happy with that idea. They are ha very happy to gamble. Like Ada is going to be a target. It's not going to be a target. They don't care. They know that if he's not going to be a target, he's going to cover two, three times when he was a target. So that's why a lot of people uh, use X, Y on the field. But I just want to show you a skill wise to make a, a comparison with some of my other commanders, just so you can have an idea like how much of a target he is. Now, it also depends on your team when it comes to field fighting. 
Like, are you always having a giant murder ball and you're always overwhelming your opponents? Because then, if you're overwhelming them, XY is usually not dying. It's going to be a couple of marches, but most of the times you'll be able to save him and retreat him. So I would say that XY is not a priority commander. 2021, so that's what, like three months before XY? And he's at 42 million kills because let's check again xy 2021 4 so this is three four months before xy and william is a killer on the field now maybe i was unlucky with my xy i have no idea to tell you the truth but another big disadvantage that xy has is when he's hitting multiple targets it says over here damage dealt to each target is reduced by 25 percent for each additional target so obviously in a murder ball you inevitably hit three targets which means that this 1700 damage factor which is still a pretty high one when you think about it is being drastically reduced when you're doing aoe but the whole point of using him on the field is because of the fast skill rotation he has 900 rage requirement and with his four skill goes down to 850 which means that either you put a William behind him, either you put a Nevsky behind him, that second in command is going to destroy every single time. Because XY does his skills, then he's going to be the second in command. And while you're in the murder ball, you're also getting rage buff. And with 850 rage requirement, you'll fill your ball really fast. So the skill rotation goes really fast. And that's an amazing combination to have. Also, with XY and Mehmed, it is something that I also used him lately. Because Mehmed doesn't have mobility, I notice it's in some situation it might be uh, better. But if you can't hide your XY, I many times prefer not to bring him. i rather bring a Sardin, um, i rather bring an Attila and Nevsky, like Sardin and William, Attila and Nevsky, and not bring my XY. Because that's the first commander they always go for. So if it's like, I don't know, let's say 20 marchers versus 20 marchers, XYs are the first commanders that go down. Nebus and YHG, those are the first one to go down. In some situations, Trajans, because people get good trades and they know those more skirmishers, it's pretty much just about trades. But I just want to give you some heads up, some situational environment that could happen. Now, if you want to max XY, of course, 5-5 um, five, five is a really good way to go, 5-5-1-1. Five, five, one, one. But you really want to have his uh, 4 skill as well, 5-5-1-5. Five, five, one, five. My advice is, if you did not invest in XY up to this video, when this video is being recorded, you can check the date of the video, is to wait. Because as of right now, in this moment, we are waiting for the leadership commanders, if they are not out already. And we should get them in about a month. We should get them in the game. Which means that two months after that, or a little bit over two months, we should get the new calves. So in about three months, three months and a half from this video, we should have the new calf commanders. Or investing 690 sculptures in XY. And then three months later, receiving another version of XY, which is going to be as crazy as XY, but a better version, then you might feel really bad about it. Sculptures are not so easy to come by. So, for example, you see how I upgraded my XY. I've just spinned a little bit on the wheel and then used a lot of Universal Legendary Sculptures. You could definitely um, wait and see how the new calf commanders will be. This is the best recommendation. But if you are calf driven and you really want to have XY because of all the things that I just said, that he's good in Canyon, he's good in, in all the events, he's good in Olympia, he's good in KVK, Karak, which, whichever other events you're thinking about, rallying as well, rallying forth, it's being used, he's much better than using Minamoto and Double C, like an XY and Double C or an XY and Minamoto is much better for rallying forth right now, or even XY and Nevsky. So people do use him for rallying for so a lot of utilities. And if this is really driving you to a maxim, then you're not doing a bad decision. 
But what I would do is, like I said, considering that we will have new calves in about three months, three months and a half, I would wait. If you really want to invest in commanders, make, make sure your Nevsky is maxed out. Make sure your William is maxed out. These are really two good commanders, which I don't believe anytime soon they will be removed from the field. And uh, for your information, William is in the wheel as well. Nevsky is in the wheel as well. So if you really need something to spin on the wheel, you definitely have something to spin on. As you notice, I have almost all the Cav commanders except Jatwiga because she is a garrison. And Bertrand, Bertrand, I maxed him on one of my other accounts and I've seen what he can do. So I wasn't very moved about his, his capabilities. This is another beauty of having multiple accounts. You can play a little bit with the sculptures on some of the other accounts. And then on your main account, you can do the right decision. So I'll probably never invest in Bertrand unless they do a rework on him. Jadwiga is a work in progress for me. Because I'm also expecting on the next rotation that we get a Cav Garrison Commander, which will be like a match made pair for Jadwiga. And like I said, a better version of Conquering Commander, something like XY, which will probably work best with Nevsky. Which means that XY will start dropping in utilities slowly. This is what I believe. I'm not sure about this, if this is really going to happen. So yeah, on the next cav rotation, Garrison and Conquering Commander is my expectation. But we will see. Maybe that new Conquering might just work really well with XY. But I doubt it. N Nevsky is just Nevsky. He's just a badass commander to have rallying any situation. He's too good. And it will definitely be useful in the future rallies for a very long time, in my opinion. Now let's get into his pairings. I already mentioned you XY and William. I already mentioned you XY and Nevsky. XY and Chandra Gupta. XY and Mehmed. These are some of the best pairings that you can do. Um, I've done XY in Minamoto as well because Minamoto has a museum with uh, defense and attack. And then uh, Minamoto has a unique debuff as well that he can do on the targets. So I've done XY and Minamoto as well, which is working really good for the field. XY and Genghis for events mainly. I wouldn't put that on the field. I've tried XY and, and uh, Saladin and I'm not happy about the results. I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't make XY tankier. He doesn't last that much longer and the damage output is questionable. But these are some of the, the best pairings with Nevsky, William, Chandra Gupta, Minamoto, Mehmed. Um, Honda as well, if you are one of those players that invested in Honda. I've tried to do XY and Takeda so I can bolster the defense of XY because it's always being a target. Takeda is a very defensive commander. It just, again, didn't work so well. So I kind of dropped it. Now, when it comes to his talent, even though he has only 850 rage, I'm a big fan of Feral Nature. And I always go, whenever there is a skill commander, I always go with a Feral Nature. Now, the reason being that is because I want to have the skill rotations as fast as possible. And any bit of extra rage that I can get, I'm definitely going for it. For that reason, you'll also notice that I have a Horn, which I definitely plan to special talent it. I just needed to forge a lot of other Horns. But from now on, when I'm going in Season of Conquest, all the horns that I'm getting, I'm just going to refine this Horn of Fury and hopefully get his special talent at some point. Going back to his talent tree, there's also other version for XY when it comes to the talent tree. There is a lot of players that enjoy swarming flags, swarming rallies, swarming fortresses, whatever you like swarming, except marches. It doesn't really help you much when you're swarming marches. The buckler shield is reducing the counterattack damage because pretty much when you're swarming a fortress, a flag, a rally, that's the only thing they do unless you're unlucky and they have an AoE commander in there and you're getting hit by the AoE, then that is extra damage. But if you don't get AoE, then the only thing you get is counterattack damage. The buckler shield is definitely helping you for that, plus you're getting a little bit more attack. And you won't need Feral Nature when you're swarming because you're getting so much damage and you're generating enough rage. It's the mechanics of the games, they work like that. Like when you're getting a crap ton of damage, you do generate more rage than normal. 
when a target that you're swarming is getting an insane amount of damage, that's when you're generating less rage and the target is generating more rage. It's trying to keep a balance because you're swarming a target and the target is in disadvantage and that's why they are generating more rage. And because you're in high advantage of swarming, you're generating less rage. But if the target is a flag, rally or, or fortress, then definitely they're doing a lot of damage to you. So it's reverse psychology. You're taking a lot of damage, so you're generating a lot of rage. So for those purposes, Feral Nature is not good. You'd rather get a Buckler Shield. And there is another version of the Talent Tree. Um, if you're not happy about Feral Nature, if you're not happy about Buckler Shield, because you only want for the field, but you think that Feral Nature is um, overwhelming, is too much, 10% chance is not worth it. This is the third version that you have for XY, so you can also debuff the target uh, with some attack. You have more march speed, you have a little bit more health, so you do the good talents, if to put it like that, from the calf tree and all the good talents from the skill tree. Now, Rallying Cry, I already mentioned this in some of my other videos, I don't like it. I think it is a waste to going for Rallying Cry because it gives you 15% all damage in the first 10 seconds after entering battle. If you're lucky enough, you might do a skill rotation. If you're lucky enough. When you're in the murder ball, you take a lot of random AoE damage. You're switching targets all the time. So it might happen that you're for two minutes in battle, in a continuous battle. So you'll have this for 10 seconds and then for another two minutes, uh, what? So yeah, Rallying Cry, I think it needs a rework um, regarding the skill. Maybe make it something like the Archer. Because the archers they have a 10% to grant you 25% all damage for, for two seconds. That's really cool. So if they would add something like that to calves, then probably the calf tree might have a rework as well. So as of right now, this is my favorite talent tree with feral nature because of the race generation. I want to pop those skills and make that rotation pop as fast as possible. That's my thought process instead of getting some counter-attack damage reduction or some normal attack reduction on the target or a little bit more march speed this might just help you probably for arc having another six percent march speed because you'll travel faster there and you also have a debuff so in terms of arc i think this is probably um one of the best talents to have you could potentially get more march speed from here as well if you cut some talents from there and you cut some talents from the skill tree but i think you're gonna butcher this tree so much just for a little bit more march speed not sure if it's gonna worth it but there is ways if you really care for more march speed my final thoughts about xy is that he is an exceptional commander he is a really good commander to have but when it comes to field fighting I probably was unlucky about him. I just had a lot of bad results, like quite a lot of bad results, except rallying. So rallying, I didn't have bad results. Rallying with XY and Chandra Gupta, which it was the meta at that time, and now XY and Nevsky, I'm having really good results. But when it comes for the field, I probably need to be in a team, and I'm hopefully now when I'm uh, in 15, 56 i'm probably gonna experience that so i can have those murder balls that will demolish the opponent's murder ball so my xy survive and then i'm probably gonna enjoy xy better but right now on the field i'd rather bring a saladin and william and uh, tila nevsky rather than bringing my xy because you notice i already showed it by the kills i mean Nevsky in 1k VK almost done the same amount of kills that my XY had in, in 3-4k VKs, which is mind-blowing for me. It's really mind-blowing. Mind That's why I don't like him for the field. He is good, but not that good. <laughs> in anything else other than field fighting, he is amazing. At least that is my opinion and that is my experience with the commander. So yes, it is worth it to work on him but rather wait for the new calf commanders if you didn't max him out already if you maxed him out then definitely use him i'm using him as well but if you plan to work on him um maybe from the wheel don't spend universals wait for the new commanders because you never know like i said 
So I hope you find this video very, very helpful and um, I hope you get a lot of information from it. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out, everyone. Take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.